Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this autumn cat's eye gel design and we're going to be working with some builder gel today. So I'm using the DMN Beauty Builder Gel in a bottle. I've already popped some tips into my Glamour Liz hand. If you were doing this on yourself or a client, you would do all of your natural nail prep first but I've skipped straight to doing the base coat. So I'm using their rubber base coat and I'm just gonna apply a nice thin layer of this to all of the nails. Now, technically I don't need to do this because I'm working on a practice hand, but I feel as though the gel works better over the base coat because of the shine to the tips and I could buff the shine off, I guess, but I just find it a lot easier to come in and apply the base coat, to be honest. So this is a bit of an unnecessary step for the practice hand, but it's a very important step if you're doing it on yourself or a client. So when applying this base coat, you need to make sure that none is touching the skin or the cuticle area. If you do get any gel products on the skin or cuticle area, just remove them with some alcohol before curing and you'll be okay. So once I've applied the base coat, I'm going to pop these in to cure for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to be using the Builder Gel cover. So this is a really nice nude peachy pink shade it's just sort of like a classic nude and this one is great for covering your nail beds or building a extended nail bed so i'm going to be doing a glitter fade on these two nails so i want to make sure that there's a full coverage at the nail bed area so i'm starting off just by applying a really thin layer making sure to get a nice neat cuticle area and then fading the color down towards the tip i don't really need to worry about getting perfect coverage at that tip area because we're going to be using glitter there anyway but up at the cuticle area, I do need to make sure that there's full coverage. So I've applied that first layer. And then whilst that's still wet, I'm just coming over it again. And I'm just going to build up that coverage and a slight, slightly start building up the apex area because I won't need to encapsulate all the way down to that cuticle area. I'm just using nice light strokes to get the gel where I want it to be. This is a lovely gel system to work with. It's, I've not used too many builder gels to compare it to others, but I just find this one flows really nicely. It's a medium to thick viscosity gel, so it doesn't run all over the place. I'm then gonna do exactly the same on the ring finger because these two nails are the same in this design. And then once I've done that to both of those nails, I'm gonna pop these in to cure for 60 seconds. For those glitter fades, I'm going to be using this gorgeous glitter mix from Charlie's Nail Art. This particular one is called Chocolate Orange and it's absolutely perfect for autumn. I do have a discount code for Charlie's which is ENA10, so I will leave that as well in the description box below, but that will get you 10% off your order. And I have to say, Charlie's have an amazing selection of autumn and Halloween nail art supplies at the moment, so I highly recommend checking them out. So to apply that glitter, I've popped down a thin layer of the base coat just so it's got something to stick into. I just find that the Builder Gel itself doesn't have a too tacky layer. So just popping down that thin layer of base coat allows me to move the glitter around and get it in place a little easier. And then I'm just using a nail art brush with some gel on it just to pick up those glitter pieces and place them down on the nail. This is a multi-cut mix, so there are finer pieces in there as well. So I'm kind of just working the glitter into place making sure there's full coverage down at that tip area and then getting it to fade out with some of the smaller pieces and I'm just going to keep doing this until I'm happy with how all of that glitter is placed and then I will pop it in to cure in my lamp for 60 seconds just so all of those glitters are held in place and don't get smudged or knocked off whilst I'm working on the other nails. And going back to Charlie's Nail Art, I did recently do a autumn and a Halloween haul showing you guys some pieces that I bought from her site. So I will leave that linked in the cards above or in the description box below in case you guys want to check out some of the items that she's got for sale on her site. 
I loved everything that I got and I'm so I'm really hoping that I managed to get a few videos up showing you guys some designs with them because I absolutely love autumn nails and this year I'd really like to get some Halloween designs done as well because I didn't get to do too many of those last year so hopefully I will have them up on my channel as well but I do really recommend checking out the haul video just to sort of see some of the items that she has available. And now we're going to do exactly the same on the ring finger. So as you see there, when I pop down the layer of base coat, I'm really only applying that where I want the glitter fade to be. I don't need to take that all the way up to the cuticle area. We don't want to add any unnecessary layers of bulk, especially in that area. So I've just popped it down where I'm going to be popping my glitters. And then same as before, I'm just using a brush, an alert brush to pop those glitters into place. You also really need to make sure that all your glitter pieces are lying nice and flat, just so that when you encapsulate them and file you're not going to file into any of them so just make sure you have got them laying nice and flat and this is why I just like to take my time and get everything into place rather than rush get it on and you've got pieces sticking up and then you file into it and it just ruins that overall finished result but I do find glitter fades are one of my go-to easy things to do. They're super quick and easy. And it, when you pop a bit of stamping over the top of them as well, I just think they look absolutely amazing. Moving on to the pointer and ring finger, I'm going to be using the Builder Gel again from DMN Beauty. But this time I'm using the sheer pink. So this is like a transparent pink colour. It's a really pretty pink, but I feel that this works best for building up your nails if you're going to be putting a gel polish over the top. I feel like this would also be really good if you were sculpting as well and putting gel polish over the top. Because it's a little bit easier to use than the clear. Just because it's got that hint of pink in it, you can see it a little bit more, especially if you are a beginner with builder gel products so to start off with i put my thin slip layer down so this is a thin layer of gel that you leave wet and then i've picked up a ball of my gel and i've just placed that down at the cuticle area i'm wriggling it up into place and then i'm just taking my brush from side to side and guiding that gel down the nail because we've got that wet slip layer down underneath it just really helps that gel to flow into place so you actually have minimal work to do anyway and then as that gel starts running out towards the tip area i'm just going to blend it down and then pick up another ball of gel and apply it where it's needed so i needed a little bit more thickness just down that spine of the nail towards the tip so as you can see i'm just applying that making sure that it's nice and neat at the free edge we don't want it to be going over the sides or too bulky at the free edge so i'm just using my brush to neaten that up i then pop that into cure for 60 seconds and done exactly the same on the little finger and this is where we are with our design so far and then we're going to be using the dmn beauty clear builder gel to encapsulate those glitter fades now I love this clear build gel, it is super super clear and it's so easy to work with. I haven't been working with builder gel too long so I do still need to tweak my application a little bit just to make sure I don't get things like air bubbles but I find this so wonderful to work with. And then I'm going to work very similar to how I did on the pointer finger. So I'm coming in first of all and applying my wet slip layer, making sure that this gets around all of those glitter pieces just because it will help the builder gel layer flow nicely over the nail. And then I've picked up my ball of gel, placed that down just past the cuticle area because I don't need to add any more bulk there. And then I'm just walking it from side to side and guiding that gel down the nail making sure that all of that glitter gets fully encapsulated especially at those side walls because we don't want to file into it and then i'm also just checking from all angles and making sure that my apex is built correctly and that the strength and structure is there all the way throughout the nail just cleaning up those side walls ever so slightly just to make sure it doesn't overflow too much this is just to reduce the amount of filing i'll have to do and then i'm going to pop this in to cure for 60 seconds off camera I then encapsulated the ring finger, did all of my filing, buffing and all of that jazz and this is what we're left with so far. So we're now going to come in and work on the pointer and ring finger. So I'm using this gorgeous colour from Halo. This is one of their cat's eye gel polishes in frankincense and it is an absolute gorgeous colour from Autumn as you can see. So I'm just applying a nice thin first layer of this to both of those nails, making sure to get a nice neat cuticle area and also making sure that I'm keeping that layer thin so we don't ruin our shape. 
And then once I've applied this first coat, I'll pop this in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And we're gonna work doing our cat's eye design on the second coat. So I'm coming in and I'm just applying that second coat exactly the same as before, making sure to get that nice neat cuticle area. And then we're gonna leave this coat uncured and that's when we come in with our magnet. So I don't do too many cat's eye designs. It's not something I, I don't have many cat's eye gel polishes to be honest. So I'm just taking the round side of the magnet and just placing it in both corners. So we create this sort of swell shape down the nail. And then once you're happy with that, you just pop it in your LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds and that will hold that magnetic design in place. So I'm gonna do exactly the same on the little finger. Now, if you find that you pop your magnet in place and you're not happy with the design that you get, you can simply just take your gel polish and go over it again and it will move all that magnetic pieces around. I, I don't know the technical terms to be honest, but it will basically put it back to a plain color and then you can come in with your magnet again and play around. So definitely just have a play around with it until you're happy with how it works. I don't know too much because I don't use them too much. It's definitely something that I wanna play around with a bit more. So on those glitter fade nails, we're just going to do a little bit of stamping. I just wanted to put some swells over the top. So I'm using the Pro Collection plate from Moyu. This is number 14. And I'm just using that image that I pointed out there with my Nicole Diary white stamping polish. So what I'm simply going to do is just pop those little swells over the glitter fades just to give it a little something extra. And this is something that I'm just really loving at the moment. Um, glitter phase with stamping over the top i've been watching a lot of talia's nail tails and i see that she does it a lot and it looks so pretty but i didn't have too many plates that had any swells on them so that's something i definitely need to purchase a couple more of because i think the swells look the best over the glitter phase but i just worked with what i had it didn't come out perfectly to be honest but i was quite pleased with the finished result i'm just touching up here in the corner where it didn't stamp down too well I do have a few more in-depth stamping videos up on my channel. This one, I was just simply showing you guys the design. But we're then ready to come in and top coat. So I'm going to be top coating with the DMN Beauty No Wipe Top Coat. I'm going to apply this to all of the nails and then pop them in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And I absolutely love how it makes the glitter underneath that stamping come to life once you top coat. It brings back all of that gorgeous hollow and the burnt orange colour. But then guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you've all enjoyed watching. It's a pretty easy design, but I thought it would be something pretty for autumn. If you did enjoy watching, then please don't forget to like and comment. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button. And I shall hopefully see you all again in the next video. Lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.